Welcome to Multi-Teach and Lessons Online. This video demonstrates how to play and create a spinner lesson in Lessons Online. Creating and playing the spinner lessons in Snowflake Multi-Teach is a similar process. The spinner lesson type is good for discussion starters for any subject and works well for paired, small group, and classroom activities. It is great for reviewing fast facts such as curriculum-based vocabulary words and math equations. First, I'll show how to select and play a spinner lesson. I'll start off with the My Lessons dashboard in Lessons Online, where I have lessons previously imported from the Multi-Teach Lessons community and others that I am working on. Here I can search for a lesson by entering text into the search box and use filters to streamline my search if needed. I'll select a spinner lesson and press the play button in the center of the thumbnail to open it. The spinner template is a wheel that contains text, images, or text and images. Audio can be added to the spinner and will activate when the spinner stops. The landing item is highlighted and the remaining items are faded out. The spinner can be activated by touch on a touch screen or with a mouse. In this example, I've used discussion starters based on a YouTube video, The Physics of Space Battles. It's by OK to be Smart, designed to be part of an instructional unit about physics. Students first watch the video, and then with a partner or group, take turns and discuss the topic that is selected when the spinner lands. For each item, students discuss if the phenomenon could happen in space, given the laws of physics, or if the phenomenon only could happen in space battle movies or science fiction novels. To view the lesson in edit mode, navigate to the hamburger menu located in the top left corner of the screen, and select edit. Here you can make changes if needed. Return to the hamburger menu where you have several options. To create a spinner lesson from scratch, I'll start from the My Lessons dashboard in Lessons Online. I'll select the green Create Lesson button, which will guide me to the Lesson Selection screen. At the top of the screen is a button where you can choose Practice, the default, if you want to create a lesson that is not graded. You can move the selection slider to Assessment to choose a lesson type for your students that can be graded. The spinner lesson type is not gradable, so I'll use the default. Here I'll select the spinner lesson type icon. This will open the spinner lessons edit screen. The left side of the screen is the manage content area, where content for the lesson can be set. I'll type in the title of the lesson in the lesson name text box located at the top left side of the screen. I'll tap the create content button to add each content bar needed for the lesson. I'll type in text and add background images for each item. Audio can be added by using the sound button to access sound files if desired. Selecting these buttons opens a file browser where you can access items from your hard drive. The right side of the screen provides an interactive preview screen. Below the preview screen, I can select details to customize the lesson. The background section provides theme and background options. Under the theme heading, the default is Snowflake. Use the drop-down menu to preview other themes that you can choose if you don't use an imported image for the lesson's background. The green background button provides more options. I can select Browse to locate an image from my hard drive, Image Search to access an image from the web, or Google Drive to access previously stored images. In this case, I'll select Browse to import a screenshot I created for this lesson with directions for the student. In the text section, I can select a font type, color, and shadow. In the gameplay section, I can choose items in the lesson to appear in order or randomized. I can also set a timer for the lesson if desired. I can move the items up or down in the Manage Content screen by using the handlebar located on the right side of the content input bar. I can delete a bar by selecting the circle icon on the left side of the bar. I'll use the interactive preview screen to play the lesson. I'll press play to view the lesson in full screen mode. Select help to review how-to information about the spinner lesson type from the Nui Tech support wiki. Help can be accessed from the lesson in both full screen and edit modes. To share this lesson, I can save it to the Multi-Teach Lessons community. While in the lesson edit screen, I'll access the hamburger menu from the top left corner and select save to community. A dialog box appears where I'll fill out information about the lesson. I'll select the age group, subject, and country, and check to see if the lesson type is correct. 
I can complete the lesson description within the screen. In this case, I'll fill in the details later in the MultiTeach Lessons community. I'll press the green button to upload the lesson to the MultiTeach Lessons community. Many lesson descriptions found in the MultiTeach Lessons community provide links to related videos, online educational resources, and curriculum standards. Here is an example of a complete description for this lesson, as viewed from the MultiTeach Lessons community. Use the search feature on the MultiTeach Lessons community to streamline your search for the lesson. Selecting the title in the lesson's thumbnail opens it in a new browser window where you can preview the linked video and related online resources. In this video, I've reviewed the Spinner lesson type from within the Lessons Online environment. Lessons created in Lessons Online will sync to the Lessons app in Snowflake MultiTeach, where the edit screen is slightly different. In this screenshot, notice that the Spinner lesson in MultiTeach allows for the import of CSV files for text-based content. The Play button is in the lower right corner next to the Community and Export buttons. The Community button sends the lesson to the MultiTeach Lessons community. The Export button sends the lesson to your hard drive or other storage location. The left-hand column supports navigation within the MultiTeach Lessons app. Select the Customize Content button to access a screen to select an option where previously played segments in the spinner will be automatically removed. The browser provides access to folders in the computer's hard drive or the content gallery of folder in Google Drive that comes with MultiTeach. To activate an internet image search, use the text entry box at the top right side of this file browser. This has been a video about playing and creating a spinner lesson in Lessons Online. For more information, follow these links.